Hey everyone, welcome back to Ken Fishery Farms Limited. Today we're diving into the world of aquaculture and discussing an essential topic, stocking density for catfish and tilapia pond farming. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced farmer, getting the stocking density right is crucial for the health and productivity of your fish pond. So let's jump right into it. Determining the ideal stocking density involves various factors such as pond size, water quality, species of fish, and management practices. In this video, I'll guide you through the process step by step, making it easy for you to calculate the perfect stocking density for your pond. Step 1. Assessing Pond Size and Volume The first step is to measure the surface area and depth of your pond accurately. Knowing the volume of water in your pond is crucial for calculating stocking density. Once you have these measurements, you can move on to the next step. Step 2. Understanding Fish Requirements Different species of fish have varying requirements when it comes to space, oxygen levels, and water quality. Research the specific needs of catfish and tilapia, including their growth rate and preferred environmental conditions. Step 3. Calculating Stocking Density Now it's time to crunch some numbers. Using the data you gathered in steps 1 and 2, you can calculate the stocking density using formulas or online calculators. Consider factors such as the carrying capacity of the pond and the desired growth rate of the fish. Step 4. Monitoring and adjusting. Once you've stocked your pond, it's essential to monitor the fish regularly. Keep an eye on water quality parameters like temperature, pH, and oxygen levels. If necessary, adjust the stocking density to ensure the health and well-being of your fish. In conclusion, determining the stocking density for catfish and tilapia pond farming requires careful consideration of various factors. By following the steps outlined in this video and staying vigilant in your management practices, you can optimize the productivity of your fish pond while ensuring the health and welfare of your fish. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Ken Fishery Farms Limited for more aquaculture tips and tricks. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, happy farming.